used to live on this street, but the last time I was here, they said they would sue me, so I'm trying to keep a low profile. Is it working? There's a lot of nice areas to live in Vancouver, like Kitsilano, the West End, Yale Town, Yale Town, Yale Town, the Beach District, Mount Pleasant, and many others. But for the first time, I'm putting the space first, location second. Maybe I'm highly influenced by Instagram Reels and trendy apartments. Maybe it's because I'm a huge nerd that sits at my computer inside all day. And that's why I just booked four lofts for us to tour. Thank you to Oxio for sponsoring this video and for giving everyone a month free of internet below. But before we know if these are a fit, you gotta know my criteria. We're looking for something 600 square foot plus. Need a little bit of space. Ideally, we have an office space or a nook. It's gotta be dog friendly and no older than 25 years. I'm not into older apartments if you know what I'm saying. With our criteria in place, it was time for our first showing. So we went downtown. This one's on Seymour Street, which is downtown Vancouver, if you don't know Vancouver very well. So it's not my first choice of location, but it's more about the property itself, the inside, than the location, so. I already knew this one was gonna be on a loud street. Seymour Street's one of the main streets that you take to go through downtown. But remind ourselves, it ain't about location, it's about the space, which we're just stepping into right now. Listed at 688,000, this one 560, one square feet inside the front door kitchen on the left dishwasher the fridge is actually a little bit on the side but it's not it's not that bad because it's not that far away the listing agent was there so i was i was being a little bit nice it's not ideal to have the fridge not in the kitchen but you know not the end of the world and this was the living area i was saying you could get rid of the table use bar seating instead and then you could actually have a full couch i'd also use this space probably for something else maybe a second desk i don't know why you'd want a day bed when you already have a couch kind of right there i don't know if i would have it like this and i remember looking up here at the loft and saying that's pretty cool those are the exact words i said because that is a cool office space. And I did go up there in a second, don't you worry. And I also learned that in the price range that I'm kind of looking around upstairs at the top of the lofts, most of the time you just get the bed and there's not room for anything else. Up in the little office space, there could be a desk here, a desk by the window. And of course this caught my eye, this giant hanging thing. I did use my realtor powers to find out that they're not gonna build above where they are now. So it won't be any higher, it wouldn't block the view, but still living beside construction, not ideal. And I thought the ladder was kind of fun but it's a little bit small. It's not easy to go up and down. You know, I keep that thing on me. I did cut my hand on the ladder. I was ble bleeding a little bit. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. But uh, that ladder was honestly pretty tight. It was not easy to go up and down, but I liked the place. That was a cool layout. I didn't realize that the offer date was today. It's in an hour and a half. But if they don't get any offers, then it stays on the market then we could possibly get a deal. Risk versus reward. That was a good one to see as a first loft, kind of setting the bar, what to expect. And then I used my car as an office to book our next loft in Gastown. But first I wanted to bring up wherever you live, wherever you move, whatever building your house, you wanna feel good about it. Like you're paying fair market value. Like it's gonna take care of you. Like you take care of it. Kind of just like your internet, which is why I use Oxio. No, it's right there. You can take a look. We just want an affordable, reliable provider. No one wants a surprise fee when you move into an apartment or random price hikes on your Wi-Fi bill. Oxio never changes their rates, so you'll never get a hidden fee that you didn't know of. If you don't like the place you live, sometimes contracts or leases can keep you staying there, even if you don't really like it. Kind of like my last internet provider, while Oxio's contracts have no terms, so if you want, you can try them out and leave, no questions asked. Like I said at the start of this video, you can get a month free of their internet with the link below. Save some money, I bet you won't change. Our second loft was in Gastown, so we made our way there, and you'll never guess who met us there. Nobody. Yeah, th that was the problem. Well, I'm waiting outside, and no one's coming to get me. Not like I've got uh, stuff to do, you know? I actually did, in fact, have stuff to do, but that's okay. We ended up booking it the next day when I came back and almost got ran over by this street cleaner. After all that, we finally made it into the apartment. And this is the kind of apartment that you think of in your head kind of when you when you think of loft, right? The exposed beams, the exposed brick. With big windows like these. Look at this natural light. Looks pretty good the big windows too. And this one's a studio, just like a lot of lofts. So they kind of have some funky layouts. Like, yes, that is the bathtub right beside the bed and the shower and the sink and what we call a water closet on the left, because you know, it's nicer than saying toilet closet. And um, at the back, what us realtors call a very spacious office. 
Just kidding, that was a joke, don't hate me. But this one kind of has the charm that the first one was missing, right? Maybe it's the wood and the brick, just the warm tones. And that's kind of what loft spaces are like, right? They feel a bit industrial, a bit rough around the edges because a lot of the loft apartments in honestly most cities were actually commercial spaces before, which is why things are sticking out and there's pipes around because it was cheaper to make them like that. They didn't make the pipes stick out because it was aesthetic for the commercial space, okay? I can tell you that. And these days, we love that shit for some reason. <laughs> so, hey, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm laughing, but they got me too. Now, I will say this, this loft was in Gastown, and I keep saying that it's not about the location for me, but this is very different than the area I live now around a lot of parks. And to be honest, it would take a lot of getting used to. It just doesn't have the neighborhood homey vibe that I'm used to, but maybe I just need to grow up and shut my mouth, so I don't know. At this point, we'd seen two lofts, and if I really liked something, I was gonna scrap the footage, but I just wasn't convinced. I also found out the first place we saw didn't sell on its offer day, so now I got all the power. The next one I booked was the least expensive and the best location so far. I keep reiterating that it's not about location, but let's be honest, it is like a little bit okay. This one was in kits, so I had to add it to the list. The first thing I saw was this taxi steal this guy's spot, not cool, not a good sign for the neighborhood. That's evil, that's evil. But inside this loft, you'll notice right away, this is the smallest one we're gonna see in this video because yes, that is the bed in the background. This one was 533 square feet. 533 square feet is what I was just trying to say. So it's definitely a smaller one. The ceiling height was around 10 to 12 feet with one part of it being 15 feet. They staged it really nicely. But when I think about working here and maybe one of us is cooking dinner, one of us is working, it's even though they did a good job and I love these counters, I just don't know if a space like this could work for more than one person. But of course, the reason I wanted to see it is because why? It's $100,000 less than the other ones. This one was listed at five ninety eight. dollars And yes, I'm buying a property because like I want to love the place that I live and put holes in the wall and screw around and do whatever I want and make it my own. But I also would buy a place because it's an investment. And I don't imagine myself being able to stay in a place like this for more than a couple of years, which at the end of the day, that's not usually the best way to invest in real estate. Oh, look at this guy. He thinks he knows about invest. Hey, I know about real estate and I will stand by this one. Yes, this one's small, but honestly, I think it'll increase in price over time. So this one could be a good investment if you love Wendy's because it is right beside the Wendy's. A day later, we were finally making it back to Mount Pleasant where this video started. And yeah, it was raining. Oh, look at how beautiful it is. It's the next day. You know, I got myself a croissant. Hopefully it's still bright enough to see what this property looks like. Cause I'm getting a loft because they're bright. Don't look at my hair. I went to see this one during an open house. So there was a couple other people there. I just let them go ahead. This one had two closets in the entryway. Pretty good for, you know, smaller space. We've all seen what a bathroom looks like. So I was like, you, you guys don't gotta see that. And into the living room, this one also had 18 foot ceilings like the first one we saw. And this one was listed at 699,000. They also painted the ceiling black, which that's kind of nice. I like that. It makes it feel cozy, which is another thing about a lot of these lofts is usually there's a lot of metal and concrete just sticking out, which I don't really love. That's something I would cover over. And these guys kind of already did that. I did ask to put up the blinds or down the blinds, up the blind, down the, I wanted the blinds to not be there just so I could get a clip and a feeling of the light and how bright it was going to be. Cause like I said, a loft space, like so much of it is for the light but the tenant said it was too difficult to put them back down. So I, I didn't touch them, respected their space. And kind of like we noticed in that first apartment in this price range we're looking around, you kind of get the downstairs. If you have an upstairs, you get a bed and the closet space and that's kind of it. There's no extra space for an office, for a desk, which I was thinking maybe there would be a space because this one was 670 square feet. It's still not large, but if no one works from home that's looking at these, they're pretty good. But for me, that's not the case because I have this huge Huge freaking monitor and a desk and I got a lot of stuff. It's that one right there. They wouldn't let me open the blinds to see all the light because the blinds are scary apparently to close. They're hard to close. 
Look at me being salty. And with that, I had some questions to ask myself. Did location matter more than I thought? Is it worth not living in my favorite area for trendy Instagram reels? And would that taxi driver give up that spot to the rightful owner? So look, I would have loved to keep you on a big old cliffhanger and say, hey, I chose one and the next video is gonna be me moving in. But you gotta feel excited when you see a place like what I would do with this space or what I would do with that and the feeling of what would I do if I lose it? Would that make me feel some type of way? And I just didn't have those feelings. Each one had something I liked, but none of them had it all adding up. A shameless plug to end the video. If you're looking in Vancouver, my real estate email is below this video. And now we keep looking. My girlfriend would be pissed I'm not wearing sunscreen.